page five. I had no idea so many women would resonate with my video about learning to love my type four hair. It's pretty sad that so many women did, to be honest. A lot of girls wrote things like, I hate mine too, you're not alone, this video brought tears to my eyes. Everything in this video relates to me, literally. I knew a lot of girls with type 4 hair felt not all that included in the natural hair community because the majority of the largest natural hair YouTubers didn't represent our hair type or styles that were easy for us to manage beyond twist outs and braid outs. Honestly, I've just gotten to a place of acceptance and that's the number one reason why I stopped trying to force my hair to do things that it just simply doesn't do. I've damaged my hair on purpose to get looser curls. I texturized my hair on purpose to replicate type three hair. I've dyed my hair on purpose, knowing full and well that my hair might not revert. I was excited when I was in the shower washing my hair and I noticed that my hair didn't fully revert and I had an elongated S curl. Looking back, I'm not that embarrassed that I did those things because apparently a lot of girls with my hair type felt and did those things behind closed doors too. My family couldn't understand why I kept big chopping every two to three years. Although my hair was long, yes, I over manipulated my texture so much and I was losing so much hair on my wash days to the point where my normal twist out would be so thin, you could see the wall through my hair. My hair was no longer dense or full, and no matter how many times I deep conditioned or did protein treatments, the amount of manipulation that I did to my hair over the past seven years led me to have thinner hair. I convinced myself that if I damaged it on purpose, but just tried to take really, really good care of it, Maybe it would be long and not as damaged as it would if I had a perm. Honestly, I played myself, big time. I wasn't willing to have long hair in the name of my wash days being an extra hour longer simply because I was losing so much hair. So I didn't care that people didn't want me to big chop. I did it anyway. This community is so obsessed with hair length and not hair health, and I think that's the number one reason why we see so few type 4 girls with long hair. And the ones that we do see with long hair have always prioritized hair health over hair length. They weren't willing to over manipulate their hair to meet a certain curly hair beauty standard. They left their hair alone, often and kept extremely simple routines. It actually makes me really annoyed that it took me so long to come to this place, but it is what it is. Learning to love my hair means leaving it the hell alone sometimes, not caring to do length checks every month, not searching for concoctions, pills, products that YouTubers swear on their grave will make my hair grow down my ass overnight, and simply following creators that have the same hair type as me, regardless if it's long or short. Thank you. 
I also noticed that loving my type 4 hair has a direct correlation with me loving my dark skin. Because deep down to some degree, I did feel that that having good hair would make up for the fact that I was very dark. Or I am very dark. <laughs> I heard a girl on YouTube once say back in like 2012 that she naturally grew out of colorism and texturism as she grew with age. Now I knew what texturism looked like growing up in the suburbs being that not one girl around me was natural except for my best friend, but I didn't have the language to describe it. When I big chopped in 2013, I was completely made fun of by every black woman in my life. My mother, my sister, my grandmother, my friends. Nobody ever encouraged me to rock a teeny weeny fro. Funny enough, today they're all natural. They'll justify their comments by saying that, well, you didn't know how to do your hair and that's why they hated it, not because you were natural. But I know that's bullshit. Yes, in 2013, I didn't know how to do the best twist out and braid out, but I know good and damn well that type four hair was never celebrated up until recently. And they themselves also didn't know how to style their type four hair, but they did it much later when it was far more acceptable. The word texturism wasn't a term anybody was using back then, so to hear another dark-skinned, beautiful black woman with type 4 hair promise my young self that I would grow to love every part of my being with time gave me a small sense of hope to see older black women that genuinely loved having type 4 hair and did not want to manipulate it. I'm just at a point where I'm happy that sharing my story at all could resonate with so many women and men. I want another little black girl watching my video to know that you will grow out of it, I promise. It will take some time, it will take some self-love, it will take some work on your part. You will have to fight the urge to not over manipulate your hair and fight the urge to not over contour your very black features, but it will come in time, I promise.